what power? Join a union. Actually, it works. A lot of times the voice of the worker as an individual isn't heard by maybe their supervisor or maybe it is by the supervisor, but not the company. They want change, whatever. By the time it's all done, if you work collectively, you'll have a voice as you go through. So why do you join a union? Is there a gap in pay, benefits, other conditions? Benefits are a huge cost. We've recently talked about the aspect of benefits costing up to 40% of the overall cost of an employee as you go through. What about conditions of employment as you go through versus what they believe they should receive? Oh, I'm much better than this as you go through. Is it an effective tool for making change in the company that you work for? So there's a whole series of different reasons as you go through. Recently, as you go through, the Wall Street Journal came out with the aspect of even evaluations that over 80% of the people often think that their evaluation isn't fair and they hate the annual evaluation process. And some people actually up and leave as you go through. In 2021, we had 38.3 million Americans leave the job market because of most of them as to how they were treated by the employer as you go through. Of that, of over 3 million people are saying they're not going to be going back into the workforce as you go through. Big shift in, our, in the way we actually treat people in our society as, as to how they feel and how they're expressing themselves as you go through. If a union is part of it, here's what it takes to, to actually form a union. At least 30% of the employees can sign authorization cards. Then they have a secret ballot election, then, which is supervised by the NLRB. That's why that is an important agency and this issue in unions. Then there's a runoff election as you go through between do I have a union or not? Or sometimes there's actually more than one union petitioning as you go through. Then there could also be a decertification election to get rid of a union as you go through. Here's a sample of an authorization card. If you ever see one of these, you'll have an idea of this is what's turned in. This is at 30% as you go through. So then you have actually the election. Now, just so you know, on the election, it's the majority of the will of the people that vote. So let's say you have 1,000 people and you have 300 people or more that fill out a card and they won the election and only 50 people vote. Well, 50 people vote, it's the majority. So 26 people can make that decision as to whether or not there's a union for all 1,000 employees. That's how it works as you go through. And then on top of that, the NLB has come out with multiple different aspects as they go through. There's the ambush election rule. The, the, the unions now have a legal right of access to the names, addresses, phone numbers, and email addresses of all the employees that work there. I don't know if I want a union bothering me on my personal email. I don't know if I want a union knowing where I live. What if I don't like the union and I have people picketing my house or throwing rocks through my front window? And by the way, that is not that far-fetched as you go through. What about Browning Ferris as you go through? In, in the Browning Ferris case, they had two separate work areas inside the same plant. One was uh, contracted out to one employer and the other was Browning Ferris employees. But because Browning Ferris could have influence on the people in this other company, all of a sudden Browning Ferris was called to the bargaining table to negotiate with the other group. It's almost it's, It almost made them quasi employees of Browning Ferris, that out there. What about franchise employees? People that are running their business underneath the direction of somebody as part of an organization. Oh, wait a minute, all of a sudden, they're your employee. Okay, so all of a sudden now you have to deal with unions. The NLRB in, in the last decade and a half have been highly aggressive in the aspect of advocating for expansion of union rights as you go through the process. They're taking advantage of different things in social media, different things of electronic communication to employees as you go through to sit down there and pitch their case and excluding the, the employer from having the process. We'll see what happens in the next 15 years. But that being said, we still have a declining base in unions as of the time of this recording as you go through. Organizing campaign, the union's job is organized wages, benefits, and treatment. So your chance to sit down and influence this organization, have them treat you better than ever before. Okay, maybe there's a reason for that, and maybe it's all true. We should go through the management side. The tactics are: we already have good wages. If you do this, who knows? We may end up having to go to a different country and taking these jobs with us. By the way, that's been said and that's been done too. Our benefits are the best in the market as you go through. The union will lead to certain costs for employees and have us reconsider how we operate our business. 
Do you go into the election as you go through? The end will break and set aside the election as somebody has created an atmosphere of confusion or fear of reprisals as you go through. Okay, so it depends what that means. And then really, a lot of times the court ends up deciding, gee, this action was a fear of reprisal and this was confusion as you go through. What's confusion? Even without the election, there's people that are confused when they walk into work. So that being said, I'm not certain what that means. Neither is anybody else, which is why it makes for good dialogue in court in the process. By the time you're all done, if you look here, here's the employer's action to resist the organizing things. Union recognizes as you go through. I'll let you go through this, read this on your own. But really, the employer doesn't benefit by the time it's all done with the union. Generally, the employees might, but then you have years of trying to develop collective bargain agreements as you go through. Um, so it depends on the employer resistance as you go through and the union recognition, the threat of legal or police involvement against the union, denying organizers access to the workplace, people passing up flyers in company mailboxes or person to person to person to workplace, victimization of union activists as you go through. All these things, they do happen as you go through. You have the, the management also in the process. Sometimes they're just as intimidating as a union in the process. So by the time it's all done, the NLRB steps in, the courts sometimes step in, occasionally the police step in too, or sometimes the roofing nails in the parking lot, that steps in as well. I've seen that happen, unfortunately, uh, in, in years past that you have some physical violence and physical activity happens to sit down and damage people that disagree with you. It's always a mess in the process. Organizing campaigns, different strategies include associate union membership, use of social media, employee email systems for organizing, use of employee facilities for union activities as you go through, and the corporation does similar things as you go through. Sometimes RICO gets involved when you have a corrupt union, and that's a federal crime in the process as you go through. So there's different aspects, strikes, negative publicity and pressure corporations as you go through. I've seen really legitimate strikes when the employer wasn't acting very well as you go through. And then sometimes negotiate employer neutrality and, and, and put it right in the contract about different aspects of union activity as to what you expect out of it and what's agreed to. Unions form because employees want change. No matter what happens, they want to change from the status quo to something different. They may not always know what the different is, but that really is where unions form. NLB has created a fertile environment for unions to grow with the ambush rule, franchise employees under Brown, Brownie Ferris ruling as you go through, and 30% really of all the employees can create an election for you. Take care.